Yo guys, what's going on? Lucky Rave is back again to give you guys another fairy tale discussion video. And this time we're going to be talking about a topic that's been going around the fairy tale community. Going around the community for almost as long as when the original manga came to an end. And that is Fairy Tale Next Generation. <laughs> you serious? Now, when it comes to Next Generations, this was actually even discussed by, like, even before the 100 Years Quest manga, like, even came to fruition, okay? A lot of people thought when it came to the Fairy Tale spinoff, many people assumed that Fairy Tale Next Generations is probably where we would be going. It would be, like, a couple of years later, maybe decades later, where you have Natsu and Lucy married, they have a kid, same thing with Grey and Juvia. They're married and they have a kid, likewise with Jalal and Urza. They're married, they have a kid. That is all, probably one of the biggest talking points that many people assumed we were going to tackle in a spin-off series that came directly after Fairy Tail. That's not the direction we went into, and instead we went into the direction of 100 years quest which personally i think has been for the better but what's kind of reignited this conversation that's been going around the community for a very long time like even to this very day okay what's got the community still talking about a fairy tale next generations has been this one particular point in 100 years quest our characters reunited with their earthling counterparts and we came to find out Edless Lucy, Edless Natsu, they got married, they have a little girl named Nasha, and we also came to find out that Grey and Juvia from Edless also got married, and they have a little boy named Grey. And it's got a lot of people thinking, when Natsu and Lucy get together officially, when Grey and Juvia get together officially, when Jalal and Urza get together officially, you know, they're going to have to. When you look at Jalal of Endless, which was Mystican, right? And you look at Urza Nightwalk, which was the Endless counterpart of the Urza we know. They're together, and they gave birth to a little girl. I see. And some are even hoping this could possibly even lead to a Next Generations-esque type of story. Now, personally, when it comes to the Next Generation story, I would be up for it. I'll be honest, I would actually be up for seeing what a next generations of fairy tale would be like but there's another counterpoint that can be made what would the story be about that would be my big thing as as cool as it would be seeing you know seeing nasha and Grace like you know actually come to fruition in the main universe okay not Atlas, not ellen just the main universe so on and so forth with the characters what would the, the premise be because what i think a lot of people what I think many people are probably fearing is what happened with Naruto. Hell no, to the no, 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 hell to the no. Which, that's a whole different can of worms altogether, but well, I'll just keep it brief. When Naruto ended, you had a little bit of a tease with Borto, Sarada, and like the other generations, like Enojin, Chikadai. Chocho, like somewhat pseudo setup. We could do a next generation story, but the whole reception to the next generations for Naruto, it left the fandom like feeling super mixed. But, like, even to this day, people are kind of just like, You think you can do this to me? And that's probably a situation that I think many people are probably feeling, but it go in a similar direction of say, what Naruto I did with its next generation story. What? I'm pretty sure. That with a next generation story, yes, they would be involved on the newer cast. It won't be to such a degree where like the older characters are like sidelined and these new characters are like brought into the limelight and they like outshine you know the characters we've come to love. I don't think it's going to be like that necessarily. What I think would be a fitting next generations esque story, in my opinion, what you would need for a next generation is Something that would tie directly from, like, the main story. Something that wasn't covered a lot, 
and that be the focal point of the story for next generation. That's what I would do. Now, shipping wise and everything, I'm pretty sure you would have like some love and like dedication towards like the Grage and like Nosh appearance. That I can see a hundred percent. And I've already seen, you know, like the fandom already talking about. Like Nosh and Grage, like, you know, when they're like older and everything, they make a cute pair. Yes, sir. It would say so much for a next generation's type of story for fairy tale. Is it a good idea? Yes, would it be a lot of fun to see like Nasha and Grage and like their group of friends seeing what their adventures are like? Yes, it would be totally fun to see that. But my big thing, more than anything, would be what would the story be? What would the premise be? That's pretty much all I have to say. So let me know what you guys' thoughts are. Would you like to see a fairy tale next generation? And if we were to get one, what do you guys think would be the story that we would be covering? And aside from that, guys, that's pretty much it. I'm Lucky Rave. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more fairy tale content here on Mashima content, and I will catch you guys on the flip side. Later.